between the waning age of enchantment and the dawning age of logic. Hey guys, Crash here. I made something really cool for the G-Pi for my son, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So let's pretty much get to it. If you don't have it installed already, you want to go get Putty, I'll provide a link down in the thing, or you can just type Putty into Google. Go to the first link here, and the page will look like this. Go to Downloads, right there, and then go and pick your type of uh, operating system, 32-bit or 64. So then what you'll want to do is go to the My GitHub page, go ahead and open up your PuTTY. Uh, you can type in your IP address, or you can just simply type in RetroPie. And then, of course, it's Pi. And then when you type in Raspberry, you won't see anything, so don't worry about that. So type in Raspberry, hit Enter. Go ahead and highlight this section right here, right click on it, press copy, open up your putty, right click in there, and press enter on my screen. Uh, it should look similar to yours, but it should be building and downloading things. Mine will probably error out. Um, at the end of the script, it will reboot, and then all you have to do is add some files. Uh, file types are MP4, MOV, and AVI. And they will go into your newly made video folder in your ROMs folder. So let's take a look at it in action. I'm going to show off the buttons real quick. Uh, this requires Sinister Spatula's advanced controller framework to work, um, which is linked to the instructions on my GitHub. And of course, I will have all links down in the comments. But take a look. Well, guys, I hope you uh, enjoy this little function I added for the g -Pi. Um Like I said, I added it for my son so he can watch some movies on trips. Um, if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and like and subscribe. And remember, guys, game on.